Hi guys. Yo, 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 what's up? Welcome back to Shop and More with Kimberly and Santos. Yeah, you. So we have another sensational video for you guys already. Already at time of the week. Yep, it goes by so fast. So fast, so yeah, fast. Definitely. So yeah, I hope y'all are doing well and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And for all our returning subscribers, thank you so much for uh, showing your continued love and support. We appreciate yeah. each and every one of you guys. Yeah. And I saw a little sneak peek of the new collection that's going to be dropping um, at the stores pretty soon. It's called Perfect in Pink. I will put up a picture. I am super excited. I'm hoping and praying it comes out for my before my birthday, which is October 17th. I would love to, uh, you know, get it for my birthday. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see what happens. But, yeah, I heard it's a mixture between... Sweetheart Cherry Sunset Glow with like a creamy almond, you know, vibe going on. And I cannot like wait. That. Yeah. And it's going to sell out fast. I, I'm pretty sure it is because I heard it smells bomb. Oh, it has notes of vibrant cherries, pink camellia, and whipped almond creme. And uh, this guy shops. Chris, if you haven't checked out his channel, I will link his channel down below. He hauled the little mini uh, body cream and the packaging is so freaking cute he says it smells so good so go ahead and check out his video i will link it down below yeah. but yeah without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get started so for saturday of last week um since you know fall is approaching us i wanted to wear something nice and sweet so i chose a dahlia this is the og I am actually almost out of this one right here. It's down to the bottom already. And then I paired it with a re-release body cream. Yep. And this one has notes of velvet, velvet dahlia petals, crisp pear, praline musk, whipped tonka bean. Uh, this one is so freaking good. Uh, I get hit right with those dahlia petals. Mm, petals. Petal it's to the metal. <laughs> very creamy and warm and perfumey. And I get the praline musk along with that whipped tonka bean. And it's just so freaking good. So long lasting. So yeah, I was so excited to pull her out. So yeah, that was my Saturday, y'all. My Saturday was Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. I liked it so much last week, I I went ahead and used it again. Uh, there were a couple of these that I used last week that I'm wearing, wear, that I'm wearing again this week because <laughs> I like them so much. This is such a good one. Uh, Cozy Vanilla Bourbon has warm bourbon, dark fruit, and vanilla liqueur. And then he, he applied the um, new version on top. <sighs> yeah, do that good stuff. Yeah, this one does not compare to the original. This one is watered down to the max. Like, I'm disappointed in this one. Yeah, this one's good. Uh, so I had to wear them both, one on top of the other. But pairing them together, they make a good combo. <clears throat> mm -hmm. They brings out, they bring each other out. Yeah, and we did yeah. a review and comparison. I will link that video down below. Yeah. So that was my Saturday. Yep, and for uh, the first day of fall, I went, you know, right, I went uh, straight for this one when, you know, the first day of fall hit. I've been dying to wear this one since, like, last year, so I wore Midnight Amber Glow. Yes, I did. They need to bring her back. She is fire. She Hi. has <laughs> she has notes of smooth amber, caramel, latte, and vanilla bourbon, and just look at the packaging it definitely definitely looks like a you know caramel latte with that fancy you know foam that they do on top so freaking pretty i love it and then the pack the fine fragrance mist looks like that kind of looks like cheetah print uh but this one is so long lasting perfumey uh i get that caramel latte along with some vanilla bourbon and amber and it's so long lasting perfumey it this is a sexy ass scent right here it's perfect for fall and winter and 
like a Netflix and chill type of vibe, and I am obsessed. Actually, obsessed is an understatement. So yeah, Thanks they need me want to use it. <laughs> they need to bring this one back, like for real, for real. Ah, oh, it's so good. So yeah, had to wear it. Next, I used sweet whiskey. See that there. <laughs> this is the old one, the one with the apple, and then I used it with the berry one. Mm -hmm. And this one has golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey, and sweet red berries. Yeah, I like this one. I liked it so much. I, I like the berries in it. Mm. And I like the whiskey. It just, they, they stand out so good. And then you have the apple. This is the apple one. And you can smell the apples in this one. You can smell the difference between these two. So pairing them together, so good. Yes. So oh, good. yeah. I love them. They paired so well together. The whiskey kind of rubbed off on each other. And then to add the apples and berries, it made it really good. It's like a cherry on top. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that was just so phenomenal. I loved it. Yep. And it lasted all day. It gave me great scent bubble. I smelled it off myself all day. Oh, yeah. The re-release of the Sweet Whiskey, it, it's freaking, it's so strong. Yeah. This one's good. Love I like it. the color of the bottle. Mm -hmm. I, I like that it's not faceted. <laughs> <laughs> it's semi-faceted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so for Sunday, man, I've been into the Sweet Scents ever since fall. Yeah, Monday? Uh, yes, Monday. Like I was saying, I've been into the sweets since ever since fall, you know, hit on the 22nd. So I wore Sunset Glow. And this is the only thing I wore for that day. Love the packaging. This is the OG. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I wish they would have kept this, you know, formula around because she is fire. And yeah, this one's so good. It has notes of fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy moonflower, and caramelized vanilla. Oh, yeah. Mmm, my goodness. It's been macerating over time, and it's so good, so strong. I get that caramelized mm. vanilla along with that, you know, cherry seltzer. And a little bit of floral from that dreamy moonflower is just so good, but it's not overly floral, so don't get it twisted at all. It's more of a, a gourmand, in my opinion, and I am absolutely obsessed. It's so sweet and good and perfumey and long lasting. So, yeah, that was my Monday. <laughs> my Monday was pretty simple. I went with Fresh Getaway. I love this scent, it was so good. Yeah. You thought it was the other one, right? Yeah, I thought it was all together. <laughs> no. I wore this one by itself. I just sprayed myself. I didn't put any, like, uh, I didn't put all the creams and everything on. I just kind of just sprayed myself for the day after I showered. So, Fresh Getaway is such a great scent. This one has a bright yuzu citrus and fresh ocean air. Oh, another, this one. another one they need to bring back. Yeah, this one is simple and elegant at the same time. Oh, and so fresh and clean and so aquatic. Fresh. So fresh. Citrusy. I love it. And I love citrus scents. So the citrus in this one is like perfect for me. Yes. It's I the love. perfect balance of the two yeah. scent notes. Fresh and citrus. Love them both. So yeah. They great scents for me. They act they complement each other. Oh yeah. Big time. Definitely. Yeah. And I'm really surprised you didn't pick up your own set when it came out. I am too. I don't know why I didn't get this one. I think I know why. It's because you were more focused on the men's collection. You didn't really pay attention to the women's too much. I think so. I think you're right. But now you're more into fragrances. So you are you have like a wide variety of fragrances now. Yeah, I'm starting to notice all the variety yes. of all the fragrances. And they're all, since I've kind of bought out already all the men's yeah. stuff. You know, I'm like, okay, well, what do they got in the women's that yep, I like? Yeah, you're stepping you into know? the women's now. So, <laughs> what do they have that I could use, that I, I could see myself using? Mm -hmm. So, fresh getaway. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. So, for Tuesday, I wanted to wear something I haven't worn in a long time. So and forever. Yeah, it's been forever, hence the name, which <laughs> is Forever Red. <laughs> 
And this is the re-release that I was talking about. It was an online exclusive and this one is watered down. Um, I had forgot I finished the older bottle in my collection. It was in our empties. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below. But this one I have bought it online and it's watered down. But it's not too watered down. You know how they normally water down scents where it's watered down and it doesn't last. This one it does last, but not like the OG. Um, this one has notes of fiery pomegranate, red peony, rich vanilla rum, and oak wood. They haven't changed the scent notes, which is a good thing. But I just wore the fine fragrance mist. Um, I'm not sure if I still have like a cream or lotion to this one. If not, I can pair it with something else. Uh, but this one is, I get the vanilla oh. rum along with the peonies and pomegranate and a little, a little woodiness on dry down. Oh, it's so good. Mm. That is very good. You're going to wear it, aren't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's behind the gorgeous FYI. <laughs> Ah, uh, but yeah, I cannot get enough of this one. I'm so glad that they have brought it back. And I'm not sure if they have it available online still. So if they do, let me know down below. But yeah, I had to snag up two when they, you know, re-released it online. So yeah, absolutely love this one. It's so good. If you love those kind of scent notes. So perfumey and long-lasting. Next. Okay, this one, I kind of did something different. I mixed... Fresh Amalfi Lemon. Oh, of course. <laughs> with Sun Wash Citrus. Mm -hmm. With CK1. God damn. I did all three of them. And this. Yeah, and I did. <laughs> see, I, I did all of this together. He did it all. I did it all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn. You gotta smell nice and citrusy I and mean, fresh. Yeah, I did. And it smelled so good together. Everything paired up together. I was like. I kind of like, I could smell myself through the whole day, the whole night. Like, I mean, it was strong and I was loving it. I mean, this just mixed perfectly with these two. I like the combo too. It, it was so good. I mm -hmm. was like, yeah, okay. I'll, you'll probably see this one in my weekly. Oh, again yeah. Because, I mean, I love citrus. I love Amalfi Lemon. I love the CK1. So I was like, you know what? Let me try them all together. And it worked. Yeah, that's it, his tried it. and true combination. <laughs> <laughs> so it was great. I love the combination. It was so good. The Fresh Amalfi Lemon has lemon leaves, chilled spearmint, and citrus, uh, cedar, cedar with citrus. And then you have the Sun Wash Citrus, which had sugared lemons, mandarin, and agave nectar. This one's good too. This one just. Oh, yeah. This one alone. This one smells Ooh, like, like uh, Skittles. Like Skittles. Orange Skittles. Yeah. This one smells so good. And then I mixed it with the uh, CK1, which has like a citrus scent as well. Citrus aquatic. Like aquatic. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I mean, this one's so good. Uh, does it say on here? Mm -mm. I'll put up the notes on the screen, but it's a, like a long list of them. Yeah. That's not it, right? No, it's not. No, that's not it. But yeah, great stuff right here. CK1, it's been one of my favorites for the longest time. I love Calvin Klein. And mixing them together was an an awesome idea. I yep. loved it. And uh, if y'all are looking for CK1, they have it at Sam's for like, what, 40? Like 30 bucks. 40 39, bucks. 40 bucks, something like that. Yeah. And it's a big bottle. Yeah, you get the big bottle. It's like mm -hmm. eight ounces or something like that. No. Oh, 6.7. Sorry. 6.7. So 200 milliliter. Yeah. yeah. 200 milliliter. Yeah. All right. So the next day, this is another scent I haven't worn in a long time because I like to wear it during fall and winter. So I wore, I did the, um, the OG fairy tale. I applied that first. Have the little mini there. And then I went on top with the uh, re-release that came out last year of a fairy tale. And this one is a little watered down than the OG, but not too much. It's a little different, but, you know, it's doable. Um, but the set notes didn't change. It has notes of pomegranate and nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. 
And people, a lot of people are saying it smells like YSL Libre. I mean, I can get where they're coming from because of that orange blossom and it kind of has that vibe. But I think YSL Libre is a little different to my nose. That one's okay. I think YSL Libre is more deeper and more sultry and just more sexier in my opinion. You can definitely pick up the pomegranate and nectar in this one. It's very noticeable and out there, but I also can pick up that orange blossom, which kind of smells like the YSL Libre because that one has orange blossom as well. That was just kind of okay to me. I don't really like it that much. I think that's why you don't like it because you don't really like the YSL Libre. So that's mm. why you never really like this one too much. Mm. But I know this is exactly why I love it because I love the YSL Libre. Oh, it's so good. And I'm hoping one day I can get the YSL Libre perfume. I want the big bottle. It's so good. <laughs> but yeah, this one's long lasting and I absolutely adore this scent. It's so good. Next, I used something a little manly. I, li I like this one. I wear it pretty often whenever chance I get. Dark Amber and Oud. This one's such a great scent. I love this one. This one has... A smooth, rich fragrance inspired by ambery oud wood and after fresh rain. So after fresh rain, yeah, that's what it says. After a fresh rain. Oh, I was like, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This one's uh, this one's good. I love this one. Uh, I like the color of the packaging. I like it all. I like everything about it. Um, this one here. That was one of your dad's favorites, right? Yeah, yeah. Dad loved this one too. Mm hmm. Oh, that smells so good. Yeah. The rich oudness mm. of this one. Every is... time I smell this one, it reminds me of your dad. Yeah, this is so good. And I'm almost done. I only have like a little bit left. I don't know if you can see that. I just, uh. I love the ambery oud wood that is yeah. the prominent note throughout the whole scent. But it also gives off a freshness too. Yeah. Like that it's saying. freshness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a great combo. I love this one mm -hmm. and this one this one's good for like if uh let's say you went to the gym and you get home you can spray this one on yourself right afterwards and you won't smell as bad like you want to freshen up real quick before you run somewhere you don't have time to jump in the shower real quick so you spray yourself with this one this one's good for that and it smells expensive too because of that oud wood yeah yeah it has that classiness to it as yeah. well yeah so oh, this is a great scent, Dark Amber and Oud. I don't think they have it anymore. I think you would have to find it online. It's part of a, a line that, that's that gone. They had yeah. that, that bamboo and surf and cedarwood and citrus and all of those. Mm -hmm. I miss all of Man, I wish they would bring it back because I would grab a bunch of those if I could. Dark Amber and Oud is the chisnits. <laughs> <laughs> they are bringing out the whole men's line. It kind of looks, it's like a rainbow collection. It, it's giving vibes of um, the everyday luxuries. But a lot of the scents that are included are the ones that have been coming out, you know, over the years. Like, you know, all the OGs like Mahogany and all them and Bourbon. But yeah. there are going to be some new ones in that whole collection. Like the new ones that are coming out. Oh, yeah, like the leather one. Like the Nocturnal Cherry and oh, some yeah, other ones, right. the Wandering yes. Forest or whatever the yeah. hell it is. I wonder yeah. what that one's going to be like. I I uh, posted the scent notes on our community page, I believe. Yeah, I did. Yeah, but I wonder if I'm going to like it. I got to let you see the scent notes because one of them has like a, like a spicy pepper note or something. It, it sounded weird. And I'm not always down peppering, but yeah. sometimes I like them. Yeah. It depends. If it's too peppery, I don't really like them too much. Same. Yeah. All right. So for Thursday, I wanted to wear something floral before, you know, we go into the cooler weather. Because here in Texas, it's still warm. So I feel like I can still wear this kind of scent. Um, because I wear scents that go according to, like, the seasons. So I wore Brightest Bloom. And I paired it with the body butter. Um, I didn't I didn't apply the perfume on top. Um, I do have it in my collection, but I just went ahead and went with these two. This is a beautiful um spring floral. It's so good. 
It has notes of Lily of the Valley, Jasmine Sandback, Garden, Car Garden Carnations, and Fresh Cedar Wood. I think this is a perfect bridal type of scent right here. It's very floral, long lasting. I do get the Jasmine Sandback along with the Garden Carnations. It gives off like a green note with the Jasmine. It also smells like it has like pear in it. I mean daisies. And it, it reminds me of the Marc Jacobs Daisy perfume. I've always said that. But there's no daisies listed, but I smell daisies. Do you smell daisies? Mm, kind of. I think so. Oh, it's so perfumey sure. and long-lasting. I absolutely love this one. So, yeah, I had to wear it before. I'm not able to anymore until next year. So, yeah, brightest bloom. For me, it was Gingham Vibrant. I love Gingham Vibrant. This one has keynotes of wild blackberries, candied violets, and soft vanilla. And I like to just grab this one and I just spray myself sometimes. I'm like, when you're on the go and when in I'm a on hurry. the go and I'm in a hurry and I'm like just doing Ugh. stuff, I'm like, I'll just spray myself real quick. Uh, this is one of my, well, this is my favorite Gingham right here. I love Gingham Vibrant. This is my favorite one out of all of them. Uh, to me, there's no better one than this one here. I couldn't believe they didn't come out with another one. For real. I mean, I was hoping they'd come out with another Gingham Vibrant, so I grab me a full bottle. They you know, because I'm going to go to this one up too quick, I think. So I'm trying to, like, use it sparingly. <laughs> they should have came out with the whole collection again. Like, why did they... Yeah. Pick... Doesn't they make sense. come out with this one again, so I got to be careful on this one. You can wipe it. Yeah. <laughs> so this one I used on Thursday. Yeah. Yep. And for Friday, which is today, um, I wore... Okay, so in the shower, I did the Sunset Glow Body Wash, and then I used the scrub to the Tropic Glow, um, the body scrub uh, by Tree Hut, and then uh, when I got out the shower, I put in the uh, leave-in conditioner. This is from the Dollar Tree. It's for $1.25. This one smells like the Sol de Janeiro number 62. Um, I think this scent right here went viral because it smells like the number 62 and it's only for a dollar 25 at the dollar tree but it has notes of uh pistachio and a salted caramel um and in my opinion it smells like the number 62 but a little watered down you know how dollar tree does but this is by the uh brand power stick and they also make like body washes and a body mist and I think a body wash in this scent as well. So if you see this at your store, it's the Brazilian Mist. Give it a sniff if you love the number 62 or Sunset Glow. So I put this in my hair after I showered and then I went in with the Tree Hut uh, Tropic Glow Firming the Whipped Shea Body Butter. And this one smells like the number 62 as well. I think I almost ate it. <laughs> <laughs> you almost bit that mother. <laughs> yeah. Mm, like that. <laughs> but yeah, it smells like. <laughs> hey, oh, he tried to give me a bite of it. Yes. Put it in my mouth. <laughs> That's how it looks. It's nice and thick. And I absolutely love their body butters and their scrubs and their sprays. I love this whole line. And then on top of that, I went in with the Sol de Janeiro number 62, of course. This one has notes of pistachio, almond, heliotrope, jasmine petals, vanilla, and salted caramel, and some sandalwood. Ah, oh, so good. Very long lasting, and it smells like a bronze goddess with some caramelized vanilla. <laughs> and then on top of that, I went in with sunset glow. Yep, so I'm smelling good in the hood right now. <laughs> This one has notes of uh, fresh coconut, sparkling cherry seltzer, dreamy moonflower, and caramelized vanilla. Man, I absolutely love this one. Caramelized vanilla and the cherry seltzer make it in this one. It's so freaking good. Yeah, and I am smelling so freaking good with this combo. So, yeah. Love this combo so much. So, get you some of that. 
for me, my Friday is a combination of blueberry bunk cake and blueberry shortbread from so Dirty Soul Soap. I like this blueberry shortbread. This one is really good. So I used all three of these items. I used the two sprays and the cream. How did you go in with it? Um, I started off with this one. I sprayed myself with this one here first. And then I used that spray. And then I used this one on top of everything. So. Oh, that smells so good. Mm. I'm mixing them all together. It smells really good. This blueberry shortbread has... Um, Baked blueberry crumbled shortcake and whipped cream. And this one is a dupe for Santa's blueberry shortbread from Bath and Body Works. And it smells exactly like it. it smells so good. Mm -hmm. So mixed with this blueberry bun cake. Oh man, they just pair so perfect together. Yeah, they definitely do. But this yeah. one, I would say it does have that honey drizzle. It makes it a little sweeter, in my opinion. But this is uh, cakey as yeah. well. But so is that one. Uh, I think this one is sweeter though because of the honey drizzle. I think that's why I Ugh. like it so much. Because that whipped cream on this one and the blueberries. I, I like the way those smell with that honey drizzle. Oh mixed. yeah. I think they complement so, each other so good. Mm. Oh yeah. That's going to smell good for all day, all night. Oh yeah. And I love yeah. the packaging to this collection. As well as the Dirty Soul. That one's super cute. It's got the little blueberries all over it. Harley, Harley, if you're watching, y'all did a fantastic job. Y'all always do on the packaging. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Love this one. So this is, and I like their nozzles. I like the way they spray. Oh, yeah. That, sh like that nice mist. Has a great so, automizer. Yes. So I love it. Good job, guys. Thank yes. You. Uh, Harley, if you are watching, we would love to try the Halloween scents that just Ooh, launched yeah. not too long ago. That would be so awesome. hit us up on, on Instagram. Let us know. Yeah. But yeah, that is it for our Sensational Saturdays. If y'all love this kind of video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Um, we're almost at uh, 2,500 subscribers. As soon as we get there, we're going to be doing a give it a giveaway, so stay tuned for that. Yeah. And um, yeah, we'll talk to you guys in our next video. Y'all have a great day and night. Bye. Love y'all. Don't forget to be nice. Bye.